Here we go. Oh, wait, we're going bird. Uh -huh. I was going to try to pike. I was uh -huh. going to try to, or, <laughs> or hopefully. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So, we're going to bird. Let's we'll talk about falls, okay? So, I'm walking out. I'm asking her to wrap her feet. Will you wrap your feet, please? A little wrap. Uh -huh. And then, as I'm pushing off over here, Okay, let's see you there when you're up. Okay. Oh fuck the song, right? Yeah. So let's talk about let's talk about the idea of this is a really cool one. And I wanna approach this in a way that's effective but also sensitive to where your experience right now. Um, I have to admit, I was a little bit, I was a little, oh, fuck with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, I did it on purpose, okay. Because when you're hooked, it's okay. like, well, yeah, where do I go, where yeah. do I go? So the very thing that keep you safe, this is keeping you safe right now. Mm -hmm. You can't fall back, right? Right. These hooks are in, right? Right. But you can fall forward really fast. Sure. Why? Because there's, there's nothing. Ooh. Yeah. There's nothing, there's nothing keeping you back from falling forward. <laughs> so when we talk about throwing, we're talking about how to protect your flyer when they're falling forward, okay? Mm -hmm. If she's rushing forward and your hands are down here, you're you're being an idiot. You're 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 not doing your part as in your partnership to keep your flyer safe. Hands up all the time. She falls forward. She has this locked here. Even if you miss miss the arms, you're able to catch the shoulders, right? Okay, so there. So let's come down. So, so keep that in mind. Hands up at yeah. the base is real key for any type of thrown thrown stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, Bird again. So, worst fault, rushing forward uh -huh. with your legs still locked, right? So let's talk about these locks again. Let's go back. Let's just hop Can to. Hop into have it? you hopped into it yet? Yeah. Okay, hop to one. Let's talk about wraps. Wraps keep you safe. They also can hurt you. Yeah. The very things that keep you safe and comfortable, sometimes too comfortable, can hurt you when you rely on them too much. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's about knowing when to hold on and when to let go. If you are falling down, these wraps are no longer of service to you. These locks, so right? Go, yeah. These braces, you gotta let them go so that your feet land on the ground first. Very key, as a flyer, that's your responsibility. Yeah. As the base, um, your, the, the, your, your part of the partnership to keep it safe is to keep your hands up so your flyer can push onto you. If, even if she misses, you catch your shoulder. Okay. His shoulder. So that's that's your bit. Her bit is to unwrap. If you're falling down and your legs are still wrapped, you are going. You're going to have some fun over here. So make sure you unwrap. And, and that's something that you you can learn um, with time, right? Huh. And let's say you have a brand new flyer that's never done thrown before. This is very high. This is four feet high. Now I mean, you're a tall girl, right? This is high. So falling from this distance is very scary for a brand new person. I would recommend unwrapping down. I would recommend doing belly basing. How high is this? Not that high. It's like yeah. two feet, right? So will you so turn away from me so look that way? Because you want your, your toes to wrap around the front. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. And then wrap the feet if you can. And this is less for you as a base, because this doesn't teach you how to L base at all. It's a totally different shape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it teaches your flyer to fall. So let's go ahead and sit up there. If she's falling, she knows how to unwrap. And it's low enough to where it's, it's still fun, right? So yeah. practice that. If you have a brand new flight, I always recommend that they hold everything on a belly base. Mm -hmm. Or if they have no body around, do it on yoga blocks. Sit on okay. a pair of yoga blocks and just learn how to fall out of a position that's much lower than L-basing. And L-basing, even though it's relatively safer than, say, standing acrobatics, it's still high enough to where you can get hurt. Gravity is... Uh, a real equalizer. It doesn't. It doesn't treat anyone differently. So, even at four feet, you can you can definitely get hurt, especially in thrown. There was one time I think in the community someone got their teeth knocked out. I was just about to say that. That was one of the first things that I, I heard honestly about think in They didn't say what it was, but I honestly believe it's thrown because I it myself was. have done thrown, hopping into it, mm -hmm. go out of it, and knock my face right into my base's knee. It, it like blooded up my lip, but I, thankfully I still have my teeth, but. That can definitely be something that happens, you know? Right. And um, so you as a flyer, unwrap your feet and basis. Keep your hands up. Very key. Okay, now let's talk about the techniques to make birds to throw a hook thing. We're birding. 
So first thing you see that I'm not two feet from the concrete. I so want you to you. tell me, okay. yeah, totally. And that's something that I as a base need to be aware of as well. Mm -hmm. But it helps a lot because the flyer is able to see it see. better, okay? Yeah. And I, so and I'm I, not. I need to get in that concrete. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This way you're falling back on the ground, right? Here a bird. Up. Okay, I'm stacked, wrist stacked, feet parallel, nice solid bird, right? Mm -hmm. Find this first. Now earlier when we did those exercises, conditioning where we're transitioning, it's gonna come in the key here. Mm -hmm. Because when I take a foot away, what's happening there? Transition. You have three points, right? Mm -hmm. Where are you pushing most? It's always the Me opposites. Too. Opposites mostly. This is a guide hand. Yeah. More like a guide hand, okay? So whenever you're transitioning, whenever a foot is taken away, it's gonna pour weight on the same side of the arm. Okay. So opposites aren't like, that's yeah. your point of balance, right? Got it. You don't need to take it all the way away, just walk it, right? Bird, just walk it out first. You still have four points of contact, okay? Uh -huh. You don't need to actually take it away. From here, remember point B is thrown. The feet don't go here, they're gonna go underneath the leg, like that. Swivel okay. it. She's pushing a lot on this hand and on that hip there, right? When she's there, when she's wrapping, once she wraps, it's solid. That's that's half the battle. Yeah. Once she's wrapped, she has four points of contact again. She's pushing off of that shin there, really locking in. Um, when I start sliding this foot off here, all the weight pours into the hands again. Walk the feet over. Once she's wrapped, she's solid. This is the hard part. Getting up is hard here. Yeah. When you're brand new, it's hard. For the base, what you can do is give her a micro bend. The more you can bend on the knees, the easier it is because it's, when you're bending on the knee, that's a real key principle on how I base. Whenever you bend the knee, you're meeting the length of your leg to where the length of your arms are, right? Mm -hmm. And it helps your flyer get upright easier because okay. she's pushing off. So a little micro bend, pushing off. Another thing I do is use the tippy toes of my fingers and push off the hands, tip, tip, tip. Okay. Engage my core and come up. And then once she's up, lock the legs up. She's locked out, right? And mm -hmm. I noticed something as a flyer that I never noticed before because the very first time I did do this, I was like, I can't get up from here. There's no way. Yeah. But I rolled my spine. You know how when, when we're doing, like, I guess... Uh, in yoga where you fold in half and then you roll back mm -hmm. up and you roll your spine. Yeah. I did it going into like, so pushing my pelvic forward and then rolling up okay. really helped just now. And I don't even know why I did that. I just did. Yeah. But nobody ever told me to do that. And I thought it was just impossible when we, when I first started doing this to get up here. How am I supposed to do this? this <laughs> so how would you communicate that to a brand new flyer? What does that mean to roll um, the hips? Oh, right here. What does so it mean? So here we are. Uh -huh. So I guess um, do a pelvic thrust uh -huh. first, and then and then like like yeah. chink your spine up, like roll roll one step, one spinal vertebrae, um, vertebrae on, top. on top of the other. Interesting. Starting from the bottom, working up to bring it sure. up. Okay. And then me as the base. What am I doing? When when you see me base? No. Once you're done here. Oh. Once you're in throne. When you see me do this, what do you tell me to do? Hands up. Wait, what do you oh, mean? put my hands up. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Give me your hands. Yes. Always. If you see your, and when you're in throne, you don't see your base keeping your hands up, ask them, hey, will you keep, put your hands up. It'll make me feel a lot safer. Yeah. They're like, really? Okay. okay, I'll keep my hands up. Like that? Yeah. Why? Because boom, Woo! you can fall fast, right? Yeah. Get those hands up. And if you're falling, unwrap those feet. Mm -hmm. All right, Amin, let's go. Anecdote.